Excuse me, miss, but I think if Master Dell didn't want us to use thumbtacks on our posters, it's most likely there would be some concern with burning images directly into the building. I do appreciate the clever loophole you've discovered, but there's a certain spirit to the rules I think you're intentionally overlooking. Del said we could decorate our room however we wanted, and oh my god, why do you talk like that? My past lives encouraged me to treat you with respect in case you blossom into a beautiful and thoughtful woman down the road. Although some of them are insisting you'll blossom into a woman that burns holes in the walls, and all of them are saying I shouldn't have said that second part out loud. Well, why don't you tell those past lives of yours that this wand is an ancient heirloom passed down generation to generation, and I think that I wouldn't have it if I didn't know how to use it. Everyone? I'm told it would be prudent to point out there is a fire extinguisher on the wall if we should ever need it, and I will be keeping a first aid kit, including burn ointment, beneath my mattress. Speaking of, would anyone like to trade bunks with me? Ooh, ooh, me! Hey, I'm Jack. I'm Nico. I'm being encouraged to offer you and Alexis a caramel. Nice, uh, nice kitty cat you're drawing there. I'm your new bunkmate, Jack. These are my favorite! What's the matter, Toe? Um, E.G., e some of the others were changing bunks. Uh, do, do, you, do you mind if I bunk with you? I don't mind. It's up to Gus, though. Did you know that leather cap you're wearing was made from a live animal? Really? Oh, I thought they killed the cows before they turned them into hats. I'm encouraged to believe that you're likely a safe individual based on your poor eyesight and lack of scars, but I'm also being told never to judge a book by its cover and to ask if you know first aid. Who's telling you these things cause you know you just sound like you stepped off of that show with the puppets. Um, hundreds of long dead grown ups. A lot of them want to know what you mean by that, although most are sure it's not important. Right, I don't think that I know first aid. I'll quickly demonstrate how to dress a head wound in case I fall out of bed in my sleep. And I mean it when I say that you sound like you're one of those fuzzy little puppets that tell the kids, Hey, don't judge people! But, like, your voice doesn't really understand what it's saying. Oh no, you've started an argument. You're really pretty. <laughs> Aww, pretty like how? Well, I can just see the beauty reflecting in your eyes. More beautiful than your gorgeous drawing there. Hey, how about you draw me on the wall? Well, what are the voices fighting about? First they were arguing over whether or not they're too overbearing, but now they're arguing if this is technically an existential crisis or just a panic attack. Do you get head wounds a lot? I'm just saying, if you consider the fact that the spirits of that cow are screaming an indefinite hat-shaped agony from your head- It's, it's only part of the cow. D does that affect the volume of the screaming? What difference does that make? I, I, I guess I'm just wondering how much cow can be in a thing before it's bad. Okay, it says here on punchology.org that you can keep training as long as you alternate muscle groups. Today we did a lot of running, so that means I can practice punching things before I go to bed. Well, what if Master Breakfast has us practice punching tomorrow? I is this yours? No, just throw it away. Are you crazy? Do you know how many seeds the fiendish cotton gin crushed to make that? Uh, hey Jack, is this yours? Huh? Stop switching poses! <laughs> Ugh. Someone trade bunks with me. This episode features voice acting from the talent behind the channel Gold Vision. It's a comedy channel and worth checking out in my opinion. This series is made possible by just a handful of our fans. If you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, we'd really appreciate your support on Patreon. Otherwise, if you want to like and subscribe, that helps us out as well. We got more coming up in the future and we hope to see you then.